What's up, you guys? It's RJ. Welcome back to my channel. Finally, finally, finally. It's been way too long, I feel like. Way too long in the sense that normally EXO videos for me are on Wednesdays, so I've had to wait until later to do this video. Um, but that was mainly because I wanted to wait until Hurdle came out as well, since he was dropping two MVs this week. So today we're checking out Suho's comeback, which is Grey Suit and Hurdle, and I'll be checking out the rest of the album over on Patreon um, later. It should be up like probably at this point. I also checked out his first mini album, uh, Self Portrait on Patreon too. And that was a very interesting album. And I, what I said on there a bit was, it was interesting to hear that album um, and Dio's album and Kai's album and Beckham's album and to just get totally different sounds from all of them. Like with them all being in the same group, they all have different um, styles when it comes to music. So I'm really curious to see what this second mini album is gonna sound like for him. I wonder if it's still gonna be very um, kind of relaxing, melodic sounds like it was in the first one. Um, and I kind of am curious what this uh, MV is gonna bring. So let's check it out. All right, first up, we are starting with Grey Suit. Three, two, one, let's go. Oh, time stopped. makes a lot of sense now. I love when that happens. I love his jeans. Oh, pretty. Oh, wait, 
it's not over yet. Hmm, you know, songs like this, it's, I never know sometimes when a song is meant for uh, the fans or if it's a song that's supposed to be about a person or just like not anyone in particular, just about a person, like whoever this person is. But I wonder if they write it in a way that it can just apply to both. There's, it could be any of those three options. <laughs> Um, but in a way, I feel like this is probably a song that relates to his fans um, or us <laughs> uh, because, I mean, he's back now and I think him doing this music, I think I read a little bit as well that he, if I remember reading correctly, I think he said something about he felt like time like stopped while he was in the military for him. So him being out um, and I think he said he was like thinking of doing this music while he was in the military and when he got out he wanted to do this album um and i feel as if him being out and being in front of um xols again and being able to put music out for them hear their support feel their support um talk to them and things like that through like v lives and things like that it brings color to his world essentially like this and maybe during his time his world was gray and the time even stopped in this video um, with the rain just kind of like standing still. And I wonder if that is related to his experience um, with, you know, not being able to be with the fans and things like that. That's what I kind of drew from the video. And it it was a really interesting way to do that. But when you have a, a song ca uh, called Grey Sue, I was I kept wondering like, oh, what are we gonna do with this? <laughs> this is a very interesting title. I wonder where he's gonna go with that. But I like what he did with it. It was very cool. Um, the play on colors and no more gray. And you know, it was, it was very interesting. I liked it. All right, on to the latest release, which is Hurdle. Also, I wanna say, wow, he looks great here. I love his hair. This is such an interesting mullet like look, but also I liked the um, the band aspect behind him as well. It was it was different. It felt like um, I mean while they weren't like you know jamming out really hard or anything like that, I did just kind of enjoy that aspect of it, um, and I also liked the the strum of the guitar like right before it went into the chorus. That was a really nice touch. All right, let's go on into hurdle. I like how his suit is purple here. And this song is much more upbeat. Wow, okay. There's so much more color in this one too. Why? Let's go back. <laughs> I love how he looks here. Oh. Wait, I didn't see the first title. Morning Star? Okay.
This guy's hair reminds me of some character from like some show I can't think of it right now. H2O. What? Okay, I gotta say, I have a, maybe a harder time interpreting this one. I think maybe because there was so much happening visually and I I was trying to like pay attention to both the captions and the music video, but I can only assume that there's the reason he dropped the two of these was maybe because they were connected in that way. Um, like I said in the beginning, it was interesting that he went from a song called Gray Suit to wearing a colorful suit in the second MV. And this particular MV is much more colorful and much more of an upbeat song. Um, while I don't know if the lyrical content was necessarily as happy as the song portrayed, um, I think the link is still there. So I'll have to go back and watch Hurdle again. Um, well, I'm probably gonna listen to it again anyway when I hear the, hear the entire album. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed both of these comebacks. MVs, not necessarily comebacks, but I enjoyed this comeback from Suho. <laughs> I'm curious to know what your guys' thoughts were on the both of these albums and uh, where your thoughts were on the song and the, um, what did I say? What Your thoughts on the album? Did I say that? I think I meant your thoughts on the music videos and the songs and the album as well, but I think what I initially meant to say was just swapped. Thanks so much for hanging out with me here, you guys. If you liked the video, leave a like and a comment and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if that's your thing, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.